There you are. The next series of Beatles about the Labour Party conference, the O.J. Simpson trial, and his broadband router is a Chinese brand. Let me stop you there. Ha, ha, ha. How goes it, Cladier? Hi, Pandman. Not great, to be honest. Oh no, what's wrong, hun? Do you remember John? John Normal Man? Yes, the business guy who is here in an attempt to redeem his soul. That's the one. What about him? I've been trying to help him on his quest, leading him through a series of significant memories in an attempt to help him see some of the wrong turns he took in his life which led to him becoming cursed. And you've made no progress? None whatsoever. How did you know? John Normal Man is an even more stubborn business guy than Graham Cartwright. Graham Cartwright? Yes, Graham Cartwright. And do you remember what a struggle he was? Yes. It's hard to believe that the sanguine snowman that I call a close personal friend was once a belligerent business guy who thought that selling business cards was a good idea in the magical realm. Ha ha ha. Yes, he was a complete donut. So, are you saying that I shouldn't give up and that there's still hope for John? Oh no. He's absolutely boned. Detective Dell, have you got a moment? Of course, Chief. What's wrong? I take it that you saw the President's press conference. I did. I'll be honest, it was a little confusing with regards to what country we're in and what our nationality is. Don't get hung up on logistics, Detective. You need to look at the big picture. The big picture? Yes, it's huge. Bigger than a poster. Probably as big as a billboard or one of those gigantic 3D illusion signs that they have on skyscrapers back in my hometown of Tokyo, Japan. Well, I knew you had a Japanese name, but I always thought that you grew up in... Focus Rebecca, just concentrate on the normal man case for one goddamned second. Just for a single second, Chief. I don't think I see the benefit in concentrating on it for such a short period of time. Would it not be better to spend several hours thinking about it? Del, I'm starting to think that this blow on the head that you had did more than just change your accent. You're positively brain dead. Sorry, Gaffer. What is it about the normal man case that you wanted to discuss? You're off it, detective. I need your badge and your gun. But since we don't carry guns, I just need your badge, please. But, I'm getting so close to finding him. Why? Why would you do this to me? Is it because of the president's claims that he's linked to terrorism, because I just don't buy it? No, detective, it's simpler than that. You're off the case because we need to. Raise dramatic tension. I've got a bone to pick with you, Graham Cartwright. Or should I say a twig to pick with you, given the state of your arms? Me, Graham Cartwright. Why ever would you have a bone or twig to pick with me, John? Because you sent me to see Claudia Sniffer, who was, frankly, absolutely no use vis a vis my returning home base scenario. Ah, uh, I see. You see, do you? I'm surprised you're able to see at all given the core based nature of your vision providing orbs alternatively known as your eyes. John, I. Call yourself a two-times business guy of the year? More like a two-timing ex-business guy with a penchant for being a massive loser. John, I can see you're upset. As I say, I find that surprising. True, my eyesight isn't what it was when I was in human form, but I can also hear how upset you are. You don't even have any ears. This is a magical realm, John. I thought you'd have a better grip on things by now. I'll have a grip on your scarf when I pull you in close and scream. Get. Me. Home. Now. I'm afraid I can't do that, John. Then you'd better find someone who can. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that was easier than expected. I'll introduce you to them. Just wait here. Okay, great. How long do I have to wait for? At least until next episode.